Hello friends, once again welcome to BIPSolution.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to talk about uh, an, another example of Oracle profitability and cost management. In this example, I will be teaching you how do you perform rent allocation using a driver called Occupancy Square Fit. So let's understand the example first. Let's understand the requirement first and then I am going to show you how to write a rule for the same. In my example, there is a rental expenses which are at corporate level. These rental expenses are likely to be allocated to various department. These are various department. There are two possibilities of rent allocation. One way you can allocate a total rent divided by number of department. Let's say you have 30, 15 department. So, so rent allocation divided by 15 department. This would be linear allocation. But in this example, the rent allocation is likely to be done based on uh, the square feet occupied by each department. Right. It, it means this is a total rental expense and this rental expense would be further divided to each department subject to that the occupy the space each department occupied. For example, I like to calculate the, uh, what are the rental expenses for facility department. So you take the space occupied by facility department, divide total space, multiply by this is a with respect to percentage. So facilities occupy 4.39 percentage of total rental expense. So I'll take this 4.39 percentage of it. 877. Uh, this is supposed to be 8 point. Uh, once again, I double check. Maybe the number got modified subsequently. Uh, it was 10,000 and subsequently I made it to actually 20,000 and therefore there is a difference. So the rental expenses is this the space occupied facilities divided by total space multiplied by 10,000. Yes, so 438.59. So this is getting matched now. Now I want this rental expenses to be allocated based on square feet. Therefore square feet is your driver. Now let's see how to write the rule for the same. So in order to write a rule, first I create a rule set under administration, create new rule set. So let's create a new rule set. I name this rule as a rental expense allocation. So this is rental expense allocation based on square feet occupied occupancy. Square Let's enable this rule. You can define uh, the context. Context will be working as a global variable or could be a fixed expression in your calculation. So this calculation is not done for a specific activity. So this is for no activity. Uh, no activity. This is not done for individual customer. So I define a member as no customer and no product, no product. Okay. Intersection with customer, product and now the remaining two accounts, dimension, account and entity. So we will be defining source account with the intersection of account and entity. Within this, within this rule, let me sequence is a eight and save it. Seven of them are already occupied. Okay. And within this rule set, I'm going to create a rule. So there can be two kinds of rule, allocation and custom. Today we'll be creating allocation rule. Define description, rental expense by square foot. Put a description over here, rental expense by square foot from corporate to individual department enable it sequence system is going to define on its own on the fly or you can give a sequence over here because there's only one rule to sequence is obviously one now define a source what is your source look at the requirement the source is the intersection of corporate rental expense at corporate level right Rental expense, which is account dimension, corporate is an entity. So define account, 
select rent search for it this is the name alias name is rent and entity or corporate so entity i select at corporate level rest all dimensions are system defined corporate which is c double c one double zero one data input is always done with the intersection of no rule and input input is a balance dimension no rule in the rule diamond both of them are system defined now i define the destination so destination account will be same as my source right account is says but the target of anti dimension are children of anti dimension so select the anti dimension children so i would be using an alias name to default name so entity would be select entities over here uh, corporate which double c double c one double zero one then c double zero double c two double zero one then three one double zero three two double zero three one double zero three two double zero had it been in sequence i could have chill use the children function four one two three four cc four one double zero two double zero three double zero four double zero and five six seven five six seven then children of eight double zero one two three four and we select an entities all entity okay now we define the driver in our case the driver is an account dimension member right driver is an account dimension member and this is basically uh occupancy square feet st80101 occupancy square feet i define this account as a driver select account dimension select member not activity mistakenly account and driver as occupancy square feet st80 statistics 0101 this is my member there is no offset in our case and define rule set context is already defined okay. i believe we define everything now we save and test it save save is done there is no error and finally i'm going to test it so rule number you see it is empty by default rule number is defined whatever rule number is choose at the last it was r double double zero two one so my rule number would be r double zero two two right rule has been created and the final step we will execute it we not execute this go to i change the number over here ten thousand twenty thousand okay so the expected output is multiply by 20000 87719 this is supposed to be the output click on your calculation you can run all rule or individual rule i am going to run an individual rule rental expense allocation rental expense by square feet so run this rule this rule will be submitted as a job so you can check the job over here under application this will take little time application job the rule is being run we wait for few seconds perfect so rule run successfully it took 18 seconds and this is your final output so you can validate one of the output as we see uh, the space occupied by Facility divided by total space multiplied by expenses. 877.19. This is your rule number. So with this, we close today's example. And in subsequent session, I'll be talking about more advanced example. Please feel free to reach to BISP solutions.com.